one time this me and this girl got into like a disagreement because her friend saw me comment her boyfriend she thought something was going on so she got mad and then her friend started like harassing me they would post bulletins I'm like oh she's so stupid she just wanted to pick a fight with whoever and since I'm tiny I was always the girl who gets picked who gets picked on just because they think I won't fight back. So it started off with just her saying, stay away from my friend's boyfriend. She started messaging me and telling me, oh, you better watch out and threatening me and stuff. It was two of them. And it was funny because the girl who actually had a problem with me only said something to me once and she kind of let her friend take it to the extreme. I was mad. I was so mad just that like somebody would stoop that low and not actually call me out to my face. I just was so frustrated that I couldn't even retaliate or like say anything back without being as low as she was. Everyone knew who she was talking about and everybody knew like that it was talking about me. People post pictures and tag them and put dumb uh, comments and stuff like that. And <laughs> it was just another way to confront someone without actually being in their face. Just like talking behind someone's back because you're too scared to actually go in their face and do it. People talk really big when there's like miles between you, but they'll might think more about what they say if they were right in front of you and could see your reaction and could see how much it hurt someone. I kind of got used to people talking, talking crap about me and like saying things that weren't true and making assumptions about who I was and where I was from. And if I didn't have my friends then, I probably wouldn't have made it. <laughs> it still hurt. Like I remember telling my mom and my mom was mad. She was like, you should tell, you should call the school, you should do this, you should do that. I was like, I would just make it worse.